April 14th, 2020, day in quarantine number 1886. What is up guys? My name is Alexander Ramond, and before I get into this video, I have two quick things to mention. One is that uh, me and my friend MC Haley has started a podcast. Uh, the first episode will be linked into the description. And also that I've got a new single that is out right now. And uh, any profit that I make from that single, whether it's through purchase digitally, through Bandcamp, or just, just getting up views... Um, all the profit that I make for that video will go to the NHS healthcare. So, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Oh, by the way, I hope you don't mind this setup. It's just, I kind of want to mix it up a bit for this video. So I decided that I would go with this way rather than this way. But yeah, and anyways, let's get on with the video. So, a few days ago, over on Instagram, I've put up the poll of which videos you guys would like to see next. And the one that was requested the most was top 10 favourite albums of all time. And unfortunately, I can't do that video because, well, picking al albums is pretty hard. And not only that, but you're talking like my favourite of all time. And that's kind of like, do you have any idea how much how much music I listen to? God, it's like going up Mount Empress and just, yeah, going up is hard enough. But then you have to pick your favourite moment of Mount Everest. It's really hard to do. Since that video is quite a hefty video, it may be shameful to ask, but maybe if you could get me to a hundred subscribers, maybe I'll consider making it then. But for now, I'm going to do the second most popular option that I've put out, which is to go through my video game collection. Here's the ones I have physically. Here's the ones that I have on the PlayStation 4. And PlayStation 3. Now, let's go the, through the physical releases. Now, there's like four batches there. And we're going to do it bit by bit. Before I get into my video game collection, uh... Let me just explain that I only collect PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. Pretty much anything PlayStation, because I'm pretty much a Sony fanboy here. Let's be honest with ourselves. My first ever console that I played on was the Sega Mega Drive, or in the USA, it's known as the Genesis. And honestly, I kind of prefer the name Genesis over Mega Drive, but... That's a whole other debate. And the first console that uh, my parents actually got me was actually the PlayStation 1. And then I had the PS2 and then the PS3. And now I am currently have the PlayStation 4. So, yeah, that's enough explanation. Let's get on with it. So, the first game... I pretty much want to show, and I'm kind of slightly embarrassed to own this, but at the same time, I was a child. I, I did not know better, but the first, this is like the first ever game that I ever had or ever played. No, technically the first game I ever played was uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't remember who was the first one or the second one, but this was the first game that I ever properly owned, and it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Next up, we got Crash Bandicoot 2. I do plan to own all the Crash games, but at the moment, I've only got two. Same with Spyro, but 
the set, but this one I only have the first one. Die Hard Trilogy. Now, apologies for some some of these cases. Some of them are either like broken because, well, I was pretty much a child when I had the PlayStation One, and yeah, not all of my collection has like manuals and stuff like that. But anyways, here's Crash Bash, Resident Evil Two, and this Rugrats game, uh, Studio Tour. Even though on the back it has the regular Rugrats game. Anyways, that was my PS1 collection. Now let's move on with the PS2. This is the main console I grew up with. Like, I grew up with the PS1 quite briefly, but um, yeah, the PS2 was my go-to console of my childhood. But this one I didn't own until like very recently. And as a huge Harry Potter fan, I don't understand why I didn't play this, even though I had a PS2. By the way, just to stop the video for a second, because I just remembered why I didn't get the PS2 version, because here's the thing, I used to have the PS1 version when I was a kid, and I asked my mum to see if I could swap it out for a PS2 version of the game, and she didn't quite understand why that I wanted that version over the PS1, so just thought I would point it out, and anyways, sorry for stopping it. Let's continue on with the video, because it's already long enough. But yeah, this one's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Probably arguably the best Harry Potter movie licensed game. The Warriors, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Tom and Jerry in War of the Whiskers. Now this was the first game I ever owned for the PS2. Sonic Heroes. God, I remember used to be really good at that game, but now... Whenever I replay it, I kind of, I'm just shit. Shrek Super Slam, obviously the best PS2 game, obviously. The Simpsons Hit and Run. Now, this was my sister's and I don't know how it ended up in my collection, but it's Peppy Funnel, Peppy Funnel. Oh God. There's probably going to be a lot of people in the comments that are going to like, You pronounce that now! And I go. I was happy in the haze of a drunken hour, but heaven knows I'm miserable now. This is Metal Gear Solid 3. Ah, ah, sticker. Still on there. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, Max Payne 1. Although I do plan to own the second Max Payne game wherever I can find it. Madagascar, Looney Tunes back in action. Ah, yes. The Star Wars games, both the first one and the second. Honestly, when it comes to the Lego games, I always prefer this one over like the many others. I don't know why. I guess it's just like childhood nostalgia for me. Resident Evil 4. The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. Yeah, as you can may tell, some of these a lot of these are kids' games, but the, these are the ones I primarily I kept from my childhood. Ah uh, yes, Har Harry Potter uh, Quidditch World Cup, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now I own multiple copies of Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas. Now I have this one that's in its box, I have another one that's just in the disc and both of them don't work and I'm kind of sad. Uh, that both of them don't work. That's primarily why I actually bought the PS4 digital copy, but you know. Monsters Inc. Scare Island with, guess what? No freaking disc! Devil May Cry 3. Uh, in my opinion, the best Devil May Cry game. Although, I do like the first Devil May Cry. Chick. Chicken Little. Honestly, this is actually way better than the movie. Uh, Bully, but I know this runs by a different name in this country, but I still call it Bully, because that's what's regularly called. And the last one in my PS2 collection, Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. Now, this is a bit of a weird one, because even though my pre-teen and teen years were 
pretty much dominated by PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Oh crap, I forgot I'm, I forgot the Xbox 360 collection. Maybe in part two, but yeah, my teen years have been dominated by like the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 games. Strange enough, when it comes to the PlayStation 3 collection, even though I played a lot of PlayStation 3 games, somehow I ended up with this much games, probably because I kept, kept on tra trading them so much, just to get newer games. But back then, it was like the only way of getting like new games and stuff like that. So this is the first multiplayer game that I, that I ever played, which is Tron Evolution. The movie is shit, but this, this game is actually pretty good. And the multiplayer is actually really good as well. But unfortunately, it's not up. Red Dead Redemption, as well as Undead Nightmare. Little Big Planet. Although, I do have the second game, but I think I might have traded it in, unfortunately. Hitman Absolution. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Kill Zone 2. Now, oh. now this was my sister's game, uh, Grand Theft Auto 2, but I might have accidentally sneaked it into my collection. A really bad copy of Fallout 3. Dishonored. I don't know why I had. I still have this. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this game, but... Yeah, I don't know why it's in my collection. Deus Ex Human Revolution. These games were uh, were the dominant thing to play. Like, it's either this or you're a total loser. Just kidding, but yeah, it's pretty much, it was pretty much to a point where everybody had like the latest Call of Duty game, but you know. Uh, where actually my original channel uh, kind of got the name from it. It was this as well as like another anime series uh, Which is Bakugan and Beyblade. I took the gang gang a little out of Bakugan and Bay from Beyblade and uh, My first channel was born, you know, Beygan And I think this was the first PlayStation 3 game that um, I owned for the console which is Batman Arkham Asylum Although I do remember uh, being a little bit scared to play this because of the dark themes and atmospheres, but honestly, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Hands down, I think. Now, lastly for this video, until part two comes around, uh, my last stacker collection, uh, PS4. Now, primarily, I own a lot of the games digitally, but as you may know, but here's the ones I've got physically. WWE 2K15. Now, this is one of the best games I've played in recent years, which is um, Wolfenstein A New Order. I really love this game. Uh, the Walking Dead Season 2 and Season 1. Another game that I really loved in recent years, The Last of Us. In fact, a lot of the physical games that I own I actually really, really love, actually. But anyways, here's Spyro, the Reunited Trilogy. One of the best remakes, video game remakes ever, I think. Overwatch. Uh, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. And Ground Zeroes. Crash uh, Reignited Trilogy as well. Again, like the Spyro remake. This is a really good remake as well. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, in my opinion, I think this is the best Grand Theft Auto. It's either that or San Andreas, but I really do love this one, though, no matter which one I pick. Uh, here, here's Doom. If, if you're wondering why there's no PS PlayStation bar, it's because the original front cover, I kind of I kind of flipped it over, because let's face it, the original cover was absolutely shite and yeah this is an absolutely way better cover than the original release again call of duty strikes again with black ops 4 world, 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 world war 2 uh 
Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3, but I primarily play them because, well, my friends tend to play them. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Not the best Batman game, but I do like this this entry, even if some bits are really disappointing. But regardless, I still recommend playing through this if you played through the other two, which is Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Apart from Killzone 2, this was um, the first game I ever bought for the PlayStation 4 which is uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Uh, we'll get into the Assassin's Creed years in, in the part two, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will make part two whenever I make part two, and I hope I see you guys later. Take care.